So, you're one of the very few folks out there who happen to work out how to install Sol for a Soda Corsa, whether you read the original manual or you happen to follow a video created by yours truly. Now you're wondering, what next? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of setting the right times multiplier so that you're racing in a way that you could say, hey, I want to do a 24 hours at Spa in 24 minutes. How do you do that? And this video was largely inspired by Creamy Corn Cob, who left a question on my video and he asked, what is a good number to set the multiplier? So what I did is I went and created a calculator and today I'm going to show you how to use that calculator and how to set up a race so that you're racing the right amount of laps around the track of your choosing and enjoy and enjoy all the beauty of the new day and night cycle that the new Soul plugin brings. So let's jump right into it. Here is the spreadsheet that I talked about. So how it works is you have to figure out which track you're going to be racing on. So let's pick Spa for instance. And I know that Around Spa, my best time in a BMW Z4 GT3 is around about 2 minutes and 22 seconds. At least that's what my content manager is telling me. BMW Z4 GT3, 2 minutes and 22 seconds. So I enter 2 minutes in the, two min in the minutes column and then I enter 22 seconds in the seconds column. The next, I've got to figure out what is the in-race or in-game duration? So let's say we do want to race for 24 hours around Spa. So we basically type in 24 hours in the hours column. And then finally, figure out how long you want to drive in real life. You know, if you want to drive for 24 minutes, then enter 24 minutes into the minutes column. If you don't have 24 minutes and you only have 10 minutes to spare, then, then enter 10 minutes in the minutes column. In my example, I would like to race around Spa over a 24 hour time period for 10 minutes. So I'll go in here and enter 10 minutes in my drive time. And as you can see, the calculator has churned out two sets of numbers. One is the race duration lap. In this case, it's four laps. And then there's the times multiplier. 144 multiplier. So where do we, what do we do with that? Where do we put those figures in? First, we jump into content manager. We can set a start time. So in this case, I've set a start time to 2 p.m. or 1400 hours. We set the uh, race duration laps from, we get that from the race duration lap in the calculator. And then we enter that into the race duration into content manager. Next, we enter the time multiplier and we enter that into content manager right where it said where you've got those three little dots on the right hand side of the time click that and enter one four four like that and then click away don't use the slider because the slider only goes up to a maximum of 60 so enter 144 with your keyboard then click away and that's it go for a race the times are not exact you may end up racing for a little longer than 10 minutes so don't come and blame me if you happen to be late for that job interview that you're supposed to be going to uh, in any case, I've set up a race right now, one of my favorite Z4 GT3. Thanks a lot for your time and attention. If you have any questions on how to use this, then you know what to do. Hit me up in the comments below. You can actually download this spreadsheet, hit the file, download it as an Excel, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. I'll leave a link to this spreadsheet calculator in the description below. If you have any questions, then uh, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Oh, by the way, I did record this race while in VR, but then I ran into a bit of issues with the frame rates and so on. I have played back the recording, the replay instead. So enjoy that. See you next time.